Yahoo, yeah YouTube, I'm Super Ganky, and in today's video, we're going to talk about manual laboring yourself outside of your comfort zone. Yeah! Because there are two kinds of steps you can take outside of your comfort zone, both with different purposes. The positive, where you take risks that push you into growth through learning, and the negative, where you put yourself in positions you don't want to be in for an extended period of time. For New Year's, it was all positive. Trapeze jumping. And so, arch, go behind, behind. Sailing. Tubing. <laughs> Instead of bird's eye view. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe not tubing. Traveling, etc. And then today, negative. Where I did something that I would not have done otherwise unless I was given the opportunity to do so. On top of some social pressure. If you are accustomed to this kind of work, manual labor, never fear because Super Genki is here to tell you how to make this mundane experience meaningful. Because what manual labor does is provide for you a sharp contrast to your daily routine on top of a desire to either be doing the manual labor or be somewhere else. In my case, this particular manual labor, filing baggies, packing packages, mailing out those packages, sorting out names, 20 plus hours of work, is not exactly what I wanted to be doing for my YouTube career. Speaking as someone who is professionally unemployed, when working towards your goals, there will be days where you're just unable to do what you wanted to. Days where you have responsibilities that are outside of your control, but that doesn't mean you should just cast them off. Because there is opportunity there. You just have to create the opportunity with what they offer. And what do they offer? Contrast. And I'm not saying manual labor is bad. It's definitely a lot of work and a necessary part of society. <laughs> Believe me, I understand that now more than ever. I'm just saying this can happen. You can use the mundane to reignite the life flames inside of you. However, you're going to have to choose how you're going to think about them. Thinking plus contrast equals perspective. And that perspective is in your control. However, that control is determined by how you choose to think about the perspective, whether it be mediocrely, negatively, or positively. It's the same kind of process with positive steps outside of your comfort zone. However, the perspective is different here. The negativity breeds a constant reminder of what you want to be doing and where you want to be, added to a strong desire to be back there. And that's where you can gain the meaning from the mundane. It wasn't just today. I also had a 10 hour shift on Friday, only in coming back today. And I had the option not to, was I able to get the motivation and inspiration to make a YouTube video talking about my experience. How did I get this motivation and inspiration? You might ask by applying positive thinking to the experience. I can't tell you how to think about your experiences. What I can tell you is that by using positive thinking, you can almost always ensure that the perspective is meaningful. That's the video for today, YouTube. If you like my content, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, comment, or share this video. It would really help me out. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Those arms are straight, okay?